Okay, there we go. Audio, audio, test. Alright, so we are here at the Delta Station, right at the dock. Gonna hop right into the water here. Got my sea truck. Gonna hop in. Alright, so Delta Station docks are right there. We're going to follow the island around to the left a bit. We're basically going southeast. Alright, so you'll start to see these thermal jets a bit. I'm going to try to avoid these guys for the most part, but you want to... pretty sure we stick on a bearing of southeast. I feel like I'm going too far to the left, but I could be wrong. Might be a few ticks to the right. We'll find it, we'll find it. Oh! Okay, okay, so here is... I believe this is, this is the back of the ship. Um, if you haven't explored this, over on the opposite side, you can kind of swim down and get in there. There's a few cool things you can do from there. But from here, we are just going to go, we're going to line it up. So, southeast is this way. We're going to do one, two ticks to the right of southeast. And we're just going to kind of follow that. We're just going to go straight, for the most part. I have not been any further than that previous wreckage, so... This should be interesting. on that, that proper bearing, though. Is that driftwood? Oh, hello, Mr. Octo Shark. Don't want to mess with you, so I'm going to go down here a bit. Don't want to mess with you either. Or you. Wow, there's quite a few of them down here. Okay, it looks like... Oh, there are a lot of them down here. Here is the wreckage, so you can see it right here. Of an astronautical yeah, so here's transfer the bow. vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Mercury 2. Inoperative. That thing's still chasing me? You guys want to back up, please? Por favor. Por favor, please. Alright, so. You can see there's a little bit of greenery right here. And not much green over there. But right here. Nice little hole. Again, this is this is new for me, so I am gonna grab some of this stuff. Uh, don't need that. Uh, okay, I don't want to go up just yet. I want to explore the base floor first. Ooh, reactor rod. Sweet. Okay, so you're gonna see some blue here. We're gonna keep going straight. Okay, and actually. There is a locked door right here. This is the one we're going to have to laser cut open, so you absolutely have to have a laser cutter to do this. Keep that in mind. Unless you just want to explore the place first, and you don't have a laser cutter yet. But if you have the Mark II uh, sea truck, or sorry, Mark I sea truck depth upgrade, you should be fine. You should have the cutter by now. Right, cool, going to go in there. Try not to burn yourself on that fiery hot magma. And then, what have we here but an alien containment unit? And there you have it. And that's how you get it. Units must be installed in multi-purpose room modules. Uh, they may be connected between rooms, stacked in columns. Cool, cool. Have to install a hatch in order to access the unit. And the base of the unit is a planter allowing seafloor to be grown from seed. That's actually really cool. Uh, you couldn't do that in the first one. And then breeding tips. Provided sufficient time and living space organisms of the same species so it should mate and reproduce. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, you could breed your own food in there, basically. So that is actually really, really neat. Um, but yeah, that's how you get the alien containment unit. Uh, pretty easy, not too difficult. Gotta go past a couple spooky shark octopus. What are they, octo sharks? Who knows what they're called. But yeah, that's how you get it.
simple, short, easy, to the point. And there you go.